Hey guys, it's today. Welcome back to the return of my monthly Q&A series, Ask Hole. Today I'll be answering everything from being called a ginger twat to the best advice I've ever received in my entire life. Quite the mixture. This month I'm taking all of my questions from my brand new Discord server. Ooh. It's a brand new community I have made for you guys to hang out in and I'll have all the details of how to join that at the end of the video. Which is over there apparently. So without further ado, hello, my name's Luke Cutforth and welcome to my Ask Hole. Emily asks, what's your favourite part about being a YouTuber? Honestly, this is probably really sappy, but my favourite thing about being a YouTuber is just making so many people happy. Is that really sad? I think that's really sad. Honestly, I don't know if I was bred by some kind of secret scientist hellbent on turning me into a slave, but for some reason, doing things for other people makes me really happy, which is the most pathetic thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> and honestly, the thing that drives me towards wanting to grow on YouTube to become the big grandmaster of YouTube PewDiePie, Lukey Pie, is just because then I get to reach more people and make more people do the smiles. <laughs> It sounds so fake. It sounds like I'm just trying to get people to go, oh, Luke is the cutest human being ever. What an actual angel. But genuinely, like, that makes me really happy. That's why I made the Discord server. I just want people to have nice things. There's so many bad things in the world, and I want to be a nice one. Thanks. Okay, good. Meg wants to know, if reincarnation was real, what animal would you like to be in the next life? Okay, so there's this weird animal called the tardigrade, which I'm really passionate about and not many people know about, so I'm gonna just promote tardigrade life to you right now. Tardigrades are water-dwelling, eight-legged, segmented micro-animals, which are also known as water bears or moss piglets. <laughs> That's what I want to be. I want to be a moss piglet. They're absolutely tiny. They look like the caterpillar from Alice in Wonderland and they can survive in temperatures from minus 200 degrees Celsius to 148 degrees Celsius. That's a lot of Celsius, my friend. So I want to be a tardigrade. I don't want to be something relatable like a sloth or a cat and be adorable. I want to be a tardigrade, my friend. If you could only experience one meme for the rest of your life, what would it be? Somebody touch a mass baguette. <laughs> Someone is in this house! Someone is in this house! Milky Jesus asks... Are you proud of the Milky Lads on tour crew and did I model it well? Honestly, I'm not proud of this at all. It's like... No, I'm proud. I'm proud. I think I'm proud. I'll, I'll become proud. I'll slowly become proud. For those of you who don't know, one of the things we do in the Discord is there's loads of little memes we make which are really fun. Like, for example, Milky Lads on tour. There's several of these, including a horrific t-shirt of the underside of my face with a beautiful message about beauty on it. And in general, while I am horrified, yes, I'm also very proud of the creativity you've shown. Well done. Thank you so much. Your house is on fire! <laughs> and you can only take three things with you. What do you take? Okay, so normally people would take something interesting like maybe their cat. I don't have a cat. Their laptop. I would like to take my laptop, but really, there are three very important things I have to take with me. And they're right over there. <laughs> This is what I take with me, these three black boxes. Now these three black boxes, black boxes, black box. Now they might look like something really boring. They are just three hard drives, but they contain all the work of the last three years of my life on. <laughs> these are the hard drives on which I keep my film. I'm holding all of my future right here. They are so valuable to me and also probably in monetary terms as well that I haven't even mentioned them on YouTube ever because I'm too terrified that some crazy person might watch break into my house and steal them. And the only reason I'm able to talk about them today is because at the end of the day today, I'm taking them away to be stored safely. <laughs> Fine. I mean, it's not literally, there are backups of this. I'm not a complete idiot, but I'm finally taking them away to be locked away forever and stay safe. I love you, my baby. I will always protect you. I've literally had entire dreams where the house is burning down and I'm already outside safe and I run in and save my children. So, <laughs> not my children, my children. My, this is my, my baby child. Daisy Bell says, do you ever get labeled as something just because of your hair color, e.g. ginger twat? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Daisy. That's a bit violent of you. To be honest, I don't anymore because I'm basically just proud of my gingerness. I love it. I think it's fantastic. It makes me different. It makes me genetically rare. All the positives. And although I might still get it from friends occasionally, I don't even notice it because I'm so happy with who I am. Da However, I did get it for the entirety of my life as a child. People would come up to me and go, ah, my hand's on fire because your hair's on fire. <laughs> did you get hit by the sun because it's on your head, etc. And so I feel you, Daisy. That happened to me all the time. It was my entire childhood. And now I can just make the jokes about my, ah, 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 ah. 
Ow, ooh, my wrist. Ow, that was, ow, ooh. This is why bullying is bad. Okay, I don't have a wrist anymore. Don't do that to yourself. I've now been punished by the ginger lords for bullying my own ginger hair. Ah. What is the best advice you have ever been given? Firstly, I know that you may have come here thinking this entire video is about the best advice you've ever been given. So actually, the best advice I've ever been given is clickbait on your YouTube titles, am I right? No. But it did get you here, so welcome to my life again. The actual best advice I've ever been given is that people who are bullying you, or are mean to you, or in general are making you sad, never do that because of a thing about you. It's never about you or yourself or anything you've done wrong. It's always about some kind of insecurity in themselves. Bullies only bully selfishly. They bully for themselves, for their own silly little brain chemistry, trying to make themselves feel better about something. And it extends even further than that. Like, for example, if you make assumptions, quick jumps about people, or if someone makes a quick jump about you, for example, you're a liar. If someone says you're a liar, it's probably actually because they are a liar. Because what they've done there is they've gone, right, I'm a liar, I'm humans lie, that person is a human, therefore they're a liar too. So often the assumptions people make about other people are actually things that they're insecure and aware of in themselves. Da -na 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 -da -na. That doesn't seem like that profound advice anymore, but it helped me a lot. So there's your answer. Cat asks, what is your favorite way to pronounce spaghetti? Mitch wants to know, what? is the meaning of life. For me, the meaning of my life is to try and spread as much love and happiness around the world as possible. Trying to learn things and teach people in equal measure, not just going, I know everything, and also not going, teach me everything. And also trying to find the flaws in myself and trying to fix those flaws or find workarounds for those flaws. Do you like that? That was good, wasn't it? Workaround? Which is basically what my entire video was about last week. So there you go, Mitch. That's what my meaning of life is for me. Was that deep enough for you? Not that deep, is it? Craig wants to know, will you ever do the seven day vegan challenge? Firstly, I have no idea how you've managed to get onto my Twitter and then onto my YouTube channel, follow the tutorial of how to get on my Discord, then join my Discord, and then at no point during that section have you heard me go on about how I'm vegan and have been for four years. Not I think you should know everything about me, just I would have thought that at some point you might have Pick that up, maybe I'm just being arrogant. But anyway, I've been vegan for four years, seven day vegan challenge, so, hey Siri, what is 365 times 4? 365 times 4 is 1,460. Hey Siri, what's 1,460 divided by 7? 1,460 divided by 7 is about 208.5714. So I've done the 7 day vegan challenge 208.754 times. So I think I should get a medal or something. Go me. And Jake wants to know, have you finished filming the video? Yes. Ha ha ha, what a funny end to the video. If you'd like to join the Discord server, click right here for the video tutorial. See you, uh, subscribe and like my video, bye. Oh, camera. <laughs> Damn it.